everyone, my name is Iris Franz with Jolly and Wanru. Today we're going to talk about the third degree price discrimination and how does a monopoly charge the optimal price and quantity to maximize its profit. So here's the idea. We have a monopoly and it is able to distinguish between market one and market two and it is able to charge a different price in the two different markets. Now, as you can see, market one is more price inelastic, whereas market two is more price elastic. So you can see that we have two demand functions for market one and market two. And for market one, the quantity is equal to 100 minus P1. So you can find the inverse demand function for the first market and put P1 is equal to 100 minus quantity. And I'm going to first solve the optimal quantity and price for the first market and leave the second market as a practice for you. So after we find the inverse demand, um, you're also given that the marginal cost is equal to 20 and it's constant for this firm. So after I get um, the inverse demand function, I should be able to find the total revenue from the first market. So total revenue is equal to price times quantity. Your price is equal to 100 minus Y1. So what is your total revenue? That's P1 times Y1, and P1 is just 100 minus Y1 times Y1. So you get total revenue is equal to 100 Y1 minus Y1 squared. So after we find the total revenue, we will be able to find marginal revenue just to take the derivative of the total revenue with respect to quantity, then you'll be able to find marginal revenue. So marginal revenue is the derivative of TR with respect to Y1, and that gives you 100 minus 2Y1. So that's the marginal revenue. Now, in order to maximize my profit, I have to set marginal revenue equal to marginal cost. So marginal revenue is 100 minus 2Y1, and marginal cost is 20. So that's the marginal revenue, that's the marginal cost. So 100 minus 2Y1 is equal to 20. So solving for this equation, then I will find my optimal quantity, Y1 star is equal to 40. So that's the optimal quantity. Now in order to find my optimal price for the first market, I just need my equation 1, which is my inverse demand function. So P1 is 100 minus Y1, that's given. I mean, we got it. So my optimal price, P1 star, is equal to 100 minus Y1. Now we know Y1 is equal to 40. So my optimal price is 100 minus 40, that gives me 60. So now I have found out the optimal price and optimal quantity for the first market. For the first market, the optimal price is 60 and the optimal quality is 40. So um, for the second market, the idea is exactly the same and I'm going to leave it for you as a practice. But uh, I want to first share the tip where I get all this equation. So, we have to think about profit maximization because this is a monopoly. And we know that the profit maximization golden rule is to set marginal revenue equal to marginal cost. We are given marginal cost, so we don't need to worry about that. What we need to worry about is how to find marginal revenue. So in order to find marginal revenue, what I need is this total revenue. Because once I get a total revenue, I will be able to take the derivative of total revenue with respect to quality then I will get a marginal revenue. And therefore, my thinking is that I need to get my total revenue. And I know total revenue is equal to price times quantity. So, how do I find that? We need to find inverse demand first. Why is that? Because I know that I need, when I need to take the derivative of total revenue with respect to quantity, I want to see everything here like a, a function of quantity. I don't want to see price. Because we know that for monopoly, because the demand curve is negatively sloped, price will be a function of quantity. And I don't want to worry about the chain rule. So the first thing I do is find the inverse demand and express price as a function of quantity. So when I need to take derivative 
of total revenue with respect to quality, I only see a bunch of Y here. I don't see P here, P here anymore. Therefore, that's a way of my thinking. And I hope when you solve the problem, you also use the same tip that will help you to solve the problem in the exam. I hope this helps and I will see you next time.